Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's the 29th of September, 2014. Got a few photos to share with you. This is a uh, shorebird that uh, is, that picture is at the Baum Stadium Detention Pond in Fayetteville. And I was up on the street edge and uh, managed to, I had to crop it a little bit to get it quite that large and adjusted it a little bit. Okay, this is out on Pinnacle Prairie. And this is an uh, interesting mix. This is an area that I usually don't spend as much time. This is on the south end. It's uh, south of the portion of the paved trail and uh, that goes through Pinnacle Prairie. So I'm looking south there. That's Dogbane, and you see the seed pods, the tiny little seed pods. And this is... Uh, quite different from what milkweed seed pods look like, but they're, they're relatives. Okay, here's a leaf hopper. I photograph these every chance I get. Sometimes it's red and blue, sometimes it's orange and green like this one. And of course that's a, a very close crop job. And there's a black beetle on a uh, similar uh, flower out there on the Pinnacle Prairie. and. Uh, I got uh, cropped up on it. Now here, there's a butterfly in there in that goldenrod patch. You can see uh, parts of it. It was a, but this one's a different one. It's also in that same patch. Here's a tiny little moth, and this is on goldenrod at Pinnacle Prairie. And uh, look at it closely, because I think you'll see, and this again is a crop trying to uh, get really close to it. This buckeye, Butterfly is very damaged. Birds have been pecking at him, I'm sure, and he's lucky to be alive. That's a black flower fly. Don't know the name. That's little blue stem. I held it in my hand trying to let you see uh, the flowering parts a little bit. And that's some that uh, freestanding, and there's too much sunlight on it, so it, you can't see the detail. But you can see how tiny the stem is, and you can tell it's not any of the other grass species. And this little pale pink purple beauty uh, is out there in bloom right now on Pinnacle Prairie. And I didn't know what to call it, and I didn't have time to look it up. But I thought it was worth sharing. And I bet if somebody's out there that knows the flowers are better than I do, will He's saying, well, that's sort of, why doesn't he know that? This is a rigid stemmed uh, goldenrod. And you notice the leaves. Okay, this one now has narrow leaves and it's uh, stuff, smaller flowers up the top of the stem. And that's probably the tall uh, milkweed, I mean, uh, goldenrod. Here I'm looking through a stand of little blue stem up there. Uh, just east of the parking lot where the trucks park and back up Pinnacle Prairie. And that's a, a, a tall green milkweed, seed pods, and those are not ready to pluck. Please don't go out and pull green pods. That, uh, don't, you know, you shouldn't steal all the steel heads, <laughs> seed heads out of any prairie area or anybody's garden. But, uh, if you chose to do it, be sure they're really ripe. Like here, this is called a seed box. You can see those little uh, almost square box shapes there. And this is past bloom, of course. And so the uh, those seed boxes will quickly be fertile and ready to go with, uh, to be planted and, uh, or saved till spring for planting. So don't, don't waste your time and destroy uh, potential new plants by plucking seed heads that are not clearly ripe. Okay, we're back to that little uh, flower. Okay, no, this is flower for an hour. This is a non-native species and the only one I've got in there as a, as a uh, demonstration. Till next time, this officer Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and Woods Green. See you.
Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard on the 29th of September 2014, and we've got another batch of photos here from Northwest Arkansas. You know, that's a very common clover. You don't see it in this condition very often unless you're a clover watcher, and it's and you can see some tiny grass there that's growing with it. I don't know the name of that one, but I think it's a native. And now we've gone uh, to an asparagus plant, and you know, I don't know, I haven't seen many caterpillars on it this year, but that one, there are three caterpillars there, and they're tiny, and they may actually be the same as these. They may be black swallowtail caterpillars, but I'm not sure. I'll try to keep up with what they look like if they're still out there in a few days. And these are, like I say, black swallowtail caterpillars. See, they're eating the stems of that. Uh, blue fennel plant. I mean, they eat every part of it they can. They started out, the first time I noticed this batch was a week or two before this, and, and uh, there were seven, and then after they got a little bigger, finally there was just six, and uh, there were five or six when I made these pictures. But anyway, they could any day be gone to make their chrysalis, and these uh, get ready to hatch. Okay, this guy in the motorcycle, he came around that corner a little fast, and he's a little slanted toward the center there. And that truck, of course, was coming fast. And it's just lucky but both of them didn't uh, meet head on. And uh, that's too common in that intersection, people speeding through there. Okay, here's the gray uh, moth I was talking about. It's at the Artan moth. That's what it is. But I think it's the same species I showed you on the other take, made from another uh, place. And I, I love these small moths, and the big one's even better, I guess. But here's another uh, dragonfly. And they're really active on streams and, and uh, uh, pond banks and so forth. And out in the wetland, uh, grassy areas also. Okay, these are, uh, well, I, I didn't get my uh, cropped version of that picture in to show you an insect on it. Anyway, these are pond side birds, apparently a uh, type of sparrow, but uh, not having no Joe Neal here to tell me which type of sparrow those are, I can't do it. This is mist flower with a, a little skipper. Okay, here's a motorcycle, and uh, what do you call it? Tricycle, tricycle. And it's about the fanciest thing I saw on the streets, and I just had to make a picture of that and, uh, and include it since we suffered so much from the bikes blues noise and the helicopters going over our houses in South Beville and all those things. And gosh, uh, at least get a, a picture of one in here. That's a stick insect. Uh, it's on my crummy old 25-year-old siding. And uh, it just looks like a stick. If, if it's on a limb of a tree or a bush, you won't necessarily see it. See that circle at the front? That's, a, that's its pinchers. And they, they can capture insects and consume them with those pinchers. This is a uh, swamp milkweed. Uh, that's an extreme close-up with a little color adjustment. There's the original photo. And uh, here's another close crop. Just experimenting, trying to get more detail in there. And you can see there are a couple of insects on that when you see it up that close that you wouldn't see. You can just see a dark spot on this one that's the normal shot. And it's a close-up technically. And here are some uh, milkweed pods on the, the uh, land that's about to be, that's, this is, see the large leaf on that, that means that it's the uh, moderately large, that's the Asclepius viridis. The reason I made this picture, they were about to mow here, and on the uh, apartment complex next to my house, and I was showing how short the grass is. After they got through mowing, they did destroy that uh, uh, 
spider's web, apparently, but uh, he didn't cut the tips off the grass, <laughs> except in very small amounts. Till next time, Ms. Aubrey Shepherd asking you to do your part to keep the air and the water and the earth clean and happy and good, and stop mowing so much. These guys mow that every week, all summer and into the fall. See you.